All right, today I'm going to be doing an ignition swap on a saw. This is a MS461. Uh, it's got a limited coil. We're going to put an unlimited coil on it, and to be certain of the ignition advance, if it has any, um, and the timing of it, I'm going to do a um, timing check on it with a stock. I figured out the top dead center um, with a degree wheel. You can try to do it with a uh, piston stop get it as close as you can I'd recommend a degree wheel uh, I just got a regular timing light hooked up to a battery clipped onto the lead and I've got my top dead center marked on the fin right here and on the case right there Now you won't want to run this very long with the top cover off, of course. Um, looks like I'm going to be starting at about 74 degrees. We'll uh, monitor that make sure it doesn't get too hot. Alright, first we're going to start the saw. I've already warmed it up. Make sure it idles out alright. And then we've got to pop the top, the side cover off. you got to be careful with the flywheel. Obviously be careful with everything, keep your hands free and then we're going to do a timing check on it. to measure that out but here is stock timing before top dead center and it doesn't have it does have ignition advance it looks like double um, the degree of uh, basically the starting it does advance it quite a bit to right there I'll have to get my degree wheel out and see um, what the exact ignition advance is but now we can swap our coils out and make sure that we're the same if we're not the same, then what we'll have to do is alter the flywheel a little bit to adjust, uh, move the key, cut the key, and uh, get her set up right. Now we're going to run with a, actually this is a 036 coil, lead swapped out. Um, make sure you get your gap right. If, if you don't have a business card, if you don't have a gap tool, get a business card that's usually pretty close. Uh, we'll run her once and see what the timing says. Now, the 036 coil doesn't have ignition advance, and it is set exactly in between the two, in between the idle of the 461 carb and the advance of the 461 carb, or coil. You can adjust that if you'd like. Um, I don't know if you're going to gain with the trouble going through the trimming the flywheel key. 
to get that couple degrees out of it, that's up to you. I know other guys that have been modifying these have said they can't notice a difference uh, in the wood, but that's what I would like to have seen. Um, is entirely up to you if you want to advance it a little bit. If you advance it to that point, it may make it a little bit more difficult to start. I degreed this out, um, the stock before top dead center idle was at 8 degrees. The ignition advance went all the way out to 16 degrees, double the, double the idle. Um, the MS360 coil, I know I said 036, it is a 360 coil, I don't even know if there's any difference. But it sticks right at 12 the whole time. Um, I'm going to leave it that way and run it, see what, uh, see what the response is, um, see how she runs that way. Should be, shoot me some questions if you got any. Should pretty much cover how to check ignition timing on a chainsaw.